Welcome back to Under the Tights, powered by the one and only Heroes Comics, right here in Fresno. It's Sean, Highway 41. I'm Rash from the Morning Blaze here at 105.1 The Blaze. And this week on Under the Tights, we're talking about Green Lantern. Which Green Lantern? I'm not really sure. Um, maybe not even a Green Lantern at all. It's all real speculatory. A couple weeks ago during Comic-Con, the latest Justice League movie trailer dropped, and it featured, amongst other things, a voiceover that referenced the Green Lantern Corps and a scene at the very end that some people believe might have actually involved one of the Green Lanterns. Uh, now, ever since this movie was originally announced way back when, there's been speculation as to whether or not the Green Lantern was going to be in it, because after all, the Green Space Cop is one of the original members of DC's Justice League. Superman, Batman, The Flash, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, Aquaman are kind of the, the staples of, of the Justice League. And Warner Brothers did try to start this whole DC universe with a Green Lantern movie. If you don't remember, Ryan Reynolds... Deadpool now, did a Green Lantern movie that was was huge, huge uh, blockbuster budget and did not really do as well as people thought. They since scrapped that idea, didn't do sequels, and Reynolds moved on to do Deadpool movies. And a lot of people thought, well, maybe they're just going to move away from the Green Lantern altogether. But in this DC universe, he is kind of an important character. And in the Justice League movie trailer, um, the villain in the movie, uh, Steppenwolf, not the band, Although that would be pretty cool if Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman have to fight the guys from a 1970s rock band. Uh, Steven Wolf mentions that there are no more Kryptonians to protect Earth. There are no lanterns to protect Earth. And then there's a scene at the very end where it's kind of like a Jurassic Park thing. There's a cup on the on a, on a desk, and you hear like a you know a, a, a bass sound, and this ripples in the water. And then Alfred looks up, and he's talking to someone, and says, I think he says something to the effect of, "He said you'd come." And I think that the inference there is that people are supposed to believe that that's the return of Superman, right? Because everyone knows Superman died in, in Batman. Well, spoiler alert, Superman dies at the end of Batman Superman, if you hadn't seen that. But everyone knows he's coming back. So I think the inference there was that, well, oh, Alfred's talking about the return of Superman. But he might not be. Some, some keen-eyed, eagle-eyed uh, comic book fans noticed that in Alfred's glasses, when he's talking, there's a green light reflecting off his glasses. Now, does that mean anything? I don't know. But I kind of kind of believe the Green Lantern is going to be in this movie. It's a pretty good kept secret if that is the case. And if he is, I'm curious as to which version of the Green Lantern they're going to do. Now, my guess is that they would go with the Jon Stewart version of the Green Lantern. Not Jon Stewart from The Daily Show. It's just a fortunate coincidence of names. Jon Stewart was actually uh, Hal Jordan's backup Green Lantern. He's a U.S. Marine from Detroit. Originally, he was an architect, but then they kind of reconned that after they realized the hell is an architect doing saving the universe? So they decided to make him a U.S. Marine who gets a, a Green Lantern ring and, and joins the Corps. And eventually he takes over as uh, as the Earth Sector Green Lantern, Sector 2814, I think is where Earth is. Man, I'm a dork. Um, but I think they're going to go with that one if he's in it. And I, I think they'd be able to do that um, as a way of kind of moving moving past the, the Hal Jordan, Ryan Reynolds movie without having to redo the whole thing. Because if they introduce Hal Jordan again... Then, they're, then they have to recon their whole structure again. If they bring in a new Green Lantern, then they can kind of just leave that Ryan Riddles movie in the past and just say, okay, well, that happened, he was the Green Lantern, and now, ta-da, Jon Stewart! Yay! If you want to know more about the Green Lantern Corps, there are plenty of Green Lanterns, including Chip the Squirrel, personal favorite of mine. Maybe, he, maybe he's in the movie, I don't know. I don't know. Head on down to Heroes Comics, talk to Dave, he'll point you in the right direction. Green Lantern, a very interesting character. No matter which version of it you're going to go with, the, the original or the one I grew up with, uh, Hal Jordan, uh, John Stewart, Kyle Rayner was kind of the one in the late 90s, early 2000s as well. So uh, very, very interesting storylines. And like I said, as far as the Justice League movie is concerned, I tend to believe the rumors on this one. I, I think that it makes sense. They wouldn't have... Why, why have the voiceover mention no lanterns to protect it? if they're going to continue to ignore the fact that they did a Green Lantern movie, you know? That doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. So check out the books at Heroes Comics, and make sure you give Dave a high five for 28 years in the business, spreading the love of comics throughout the Central Valley. Heroes Comics, Shaw and Highway 41. Thanks for watching.